Hi viewers, welcome back to Siri Algorithms YouTube channel. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, I am going to show you one more example using of if else conditional statements. Password validation. So please walk through with me. Let me show you the code. Please wait. So here is the environment. So let me take the username is equal to Python password is equal to Python123 user choice so us name is equal to input of enter your username enter your username psw is equal to input of enter your password now I am going to write the condition if US name that means user whatever he is entering if US name equal equal to username and PSW equal equal to password if both conditions are true then execute this print statement print of welcome to gmail login successful else print of invalid credentials try again let me execute so enter your username if he enter python password python 123 you can see welcome to gmail login successful let me explain the code so here user entered the username is python and uh, password is python python123 so first check the first condition us name equal equal to username that means python equal equal to python that means this condition is true and here what I written and and is a logical operator that means if both conditions are true then only execute the if block statement if any one of the condition is false then it won't execute the if block statement so and is a operator both conditions are important next take a password password is python123 and it is also equal equal to python123 both are matching and condition is true so both conditions are true that's why it executed a welcome to gmail login successful what in case username is python but password is not matching password is 
python 234 now you can see invalid credentials try again that means one condition is true but the second condition is false that's why else block statement get executed so take the second scenario maybe username is wrong username is java but password is correct python 123 you can see invalid credentials try again so thank you in next video i am going to show you one more example using with if else conditional statements so please uh, subscribe my channel don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you see you in next video